Welcome amazing friends and let me teach you how to solve this amazing math olympiad equation and remember at the end of our solving we are going to do a check to really know if our answer is correct and don't forget to tell us how you feel about this class in the comment section it helps us to serve you best now if you are ready let's do it together so we're going to begin with this is an exponential equation okay now what you do at this point let's just begin it with solution so we're going to have solution. Now, what do we do? What we need to do here, remember you have to get X. So we are going to take the log of both sides, okay? It helps us to get the value of X. So we're going to have log of this value, which is five to the power of X is equal to log of 60. Now, what do you do next? Just remember this rule of log with him that says if I have log a to the power of x, it is just the same as using this power to multiply the log. Did you see that? So this is what this is. So let's apply this rule in this. And to do it, we are going to now have this x to multiply the log. So we're going to have x log 5 is equal to log of 60. Now, what do you do next? Since you are getting x, so we're going to divide because these two are multiplying. So we're going to divide both sides by log of 5 and do same here, okay? If you do it, this takes off this. So we're going to have x is equal to log of 60 divided by log of 5. But don't be too quick to say that this is your value of x. It's not yet simplified. Now, let me teach you what you will do. Now, to simplify further, what do we do? This gives us, we can have it as x is equal to log of, let's simplify this 60, okay? 60 is the same thing as, we can have 60, let's simplify, 2 goes here 30, 2 goes here 15, 3 is 5, 5 goes in itself 1. I hope you have seen it. So what it means is that to express this 60, it can be written as, log of 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 and by 5. When you multiply this, it gives you what? 60. These are the multiplicative form of this and these are expressed, these are prime numbers. And you know, when you have a, a, an answer that is in prime, it means it is the lowest form. So that's why we're expressing it in this form. Okay, divided by log of, so we bring down log of 5. I hope you are still with me there. Now, what do you think we should do at this point? Just remember this rule of your logarithm that says that if you have log A and B multiplied together, what does it mean? The multiplication sign simply turns to addition. So you are going to have log A plus log of B. Did you see that? So let's apply this rule here. Remember that this can also be written as log of 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 2 is 2 times 2, okay? Multiplied by log by 3 and by 5, okay? Then divided by log of 5. Now let's apply this rule here. If you do it, you are going to now have, this gives us x is equal to log of 2 to the power of 2. See what we're doing. Then this will turn to addition sign. So we have log of 3 then plus log of 5, okay? Then everything is divided by log of 5. So what do we do next? Just remember that this power multiplies the log from what we have here. So we can simply have it as x is equal to 2. This we multiply. So we have 2 log of 2, okay? Plus log of 3 plus log of 5. Now, this serves as a denominator, so it can divide each of these logs. So we are free to split it to each of the logs. I hope you are seeing what I'm doing. So you divide each one by log of 5. And if you do that, log of 5 divides itself, gives you 1. Okay? Now, let's see how to simplify this. To do it, you are going to have... Now, recall also that when you have log of A divided by log of b according to your rule of logarithm it is simply log of a then base b okay so let's apply this rule here so to do it you are going to now have x is equal to 
2, okay? Then we have log of this 2. I hope you are with me. Then this 5 becomes the base. You see how we are simplifying it. Then plus, this will now be log of 3. Then this 5 becomes the base. Because we cannot cancel it out. Unlike we did it here. So that's why you cannot, other than using this rule. I hope you are following. So this was able to cancel out and it gave us a 1. So at this point, you observe that every of the values we have here are prime except this. And this one is also the lowest form of it. So it means that our answer has been simplified. So we are going to conclude that our x is equal to, this becomes the value of a x. Now let's do a check to know if actually what we got is correct. So to check, we are going to have, so what we do is we are going to put in this value of x into the left side to see if it gives us 60. I hope you are ready. So this gives us 5 to the power of this x is 2 log 2 base 5, okay, plus log of 3 base 5 plus 1. Remember, all these are paths that this 5 is raised to, okay? We want to know if it will give us 60. So let's keep simplifying. But remember this rule of exponents that when you have a to the power of m plus n, it simply means a to the power of m this addition sign turns to multiplication. Did you see that? So this is your rule of exponents. Now, applying this rule of exponents here, this gives us this 5. We have this power of 2 log 2 base 5. I hope you are seeing it. Then this addition sign at the power turns to multiplication. So we're going to have multiplied by the same base 5. Okay? Then we have log of 3 base 5. Then multiplied by the same base, which is 5 to this power of 1. I hope you are seeing how I am simplifying it. So what do you do next? Now, another rule you need to remember is that there's this rule of in logarithm that says when you have a log of b base a, when the log of the, the base of the log and the general base are the same, automatically the value becomes this number b. So let's apply this rule in answering this. So what do you do? But when you look at this, you observe that this log has a coefficient of 2. But for you to apply this rule, the coefficient should be 1. So how do we do this? Just remember to take this power to this number to become the power of the number we have here. Remember your rule of logarithm. So if you do that, you are going to have, this will become the power of this number. So we're having 5 to the power of log of 2 to the power of 2. Do you see it? Then base 5, okay? Multiplied by 5. This does not, the coefficient is 1 just like this. So we don't have issue with this. So we have log of 3 base 5. Then multiplied by 5 to the power of 1. Now what do you do again? You now observe that this base of the log and the general base are the same. So this means we are going to have 2 to the power of 2, okay, is multiplied by this and this are the same. So the value will be 3. Please, this is a number 3. I hope you are with me. So we are multiplying it by 3, then multiply by 5 raised to power 1 is what? 5. Okay, so we have 5. Now let's quickly multiply this. 2 to the power of 2 simply means 2 multiplied 2 times. And that will give us 4, okay? Then 4 times 3 is 12, and 12 times 5 gives us 60. And that is what we have at the right side of the equation. And it means that this answer is totally correct. And I hope you learned a lot. Let us know how much in the comments. Remember, it tells us to serve you best. Don't forget to share with others to see the skills we displayed here. And subscribe for the more tips you get from us. Don't forget to give us... A thumbs up. See you in our next class. Bye-bye.